Congratulations, boss. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I know you're a gamma. You're going to start my production in gamma. Two gamma and uh, I, I'm sure you hardly even like do grant interviews in that. Hardly, hardly, hardly. hardly. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I can. No, I think it was only once that um, it was Obunu. Obunu FM well. did come, you know, to, you, and then we, we spoke, I spoke. Oh. But otherwise, no. Anytime you want to grant interviews, purely, purely English, English or I can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how many languages do you speak? Oh, I think my, my can is passable, my fancy is passable, and, and, and so I speak so by English, ga, and a little bit of French. Oh, are you a full ga? Full ga, 100%. From, La Enosu. From, from which part? Okay, full, like from Osu. La Enosu. So my dad is La and my mom is Osu. Yeah. Oh, okay. That is great. Well, today I'm with uh, Ghana's number one. Ajitiana. Uh, some people do call you Pusha, right? They but do. You still want to be referred to or called Pusha? I don't mind. I mean, any 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 name that anybody feels comfortable with. Sometimes people watch my movies and they like a, a particular character, and then that name sticks. And then they see you and they mention that name. Sometimes I even forget the character that had the name. You know. Oh, okay. Then I realize, oh, it's me. Oh, then I remember. So it's fine. I think that it's easier when people you know want to connect with what re reminds them of you and, and therefore i'm fine with oh, okay. i'm so, fine with it so this will add up Sorry. to this will add up to how many awards like uh, entertainment uh, best actor <laughs> of the year. you deserve it so thank this you will add up thank to you how many awards now that you have so 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 actually this is the second second award from um entertainment achievement awards Award. but, um, but, but like overall but overall no, not not much. Probably that. Probably about ten awards. I mean. Why? Yeah. I'm sure someone would. Like, I'm, even me, I'm even surprised. <laughs> yes, I'm surprised because I. You've been in the system for long. I've, and you are on, I, one I of haven't. The best that yeah. We have. Honestly, I, I'm being modest, but I, I I don't think I've counted really the number. But I think at least ten. Mm. It's safer to say at least ten awards. But uh, do you think? Do you value awards? Do you think it's something that that does something? or someone in the entertainment industry you need to fight for? I, I, I think that it has, it has a role to play and, and especially when, you know, it's, it's always good for people to recognize for what they are doing and, and I think it, this is not limited to just entertainment, you know, other sectors uh, you have, you know, every now and then some award scheme that is rewarding um, participants of of their achievements and what they've done. It's just to encourage us that what we're doing is appreciated. Um, it's just to say Ayiko, and we're expecting that you do much more and um, touch lives, transform lives. And I think that in, in doing things like this that deal with the, the, the other human, uh, there's, a, there's a need for, for an award. Wow. Um, so you know, it's something that you really value? Yes, I do. Okay, I do. So for, I know we, we, we know much about you. You don't even need, <laughs> you don't, you don't even need any introduction, right. but how many movies have you featured in there? This is like a class test file. <laughs> so should um, we like 10, 20, 100? Well, I would say probably 50, because I'm, I'm a bit selective with what I do over, over the period. Even though I've been here for a while, I've been very selective, and so I'm probably about 50. Very selective in what you shoot. In the, 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 you know, the choices I make with respect to movies that I, I go for, yeah. But for some time, I don't know if you've heard it, some people are saying the industry is dead. Others are saying that uh, like things are not working yeah. the way it's supposed to. Where will you place it? Do you, are you part of the group who mm. like saying that the industry is dead? Or no, not doing well? no the, the industry is not dead, but the industry is struggling. The and so the, is struggling? Yes, it's okay. struggling. Um, the, the, and and it, it from many levels, I think that you know the, the COVID has added its own. But way before COVID, we had things that we're struggling with, the saturation of, of our of our products, and it gets to a point where you where where do you take it again to market it? We don't have avenues enough to do so. To, even to though in the yeah, the even though it, yeah, okay. even though in the age of social media, you'd have um, you know various platforms that you can. You can send your movies. They they are not rewarding enough, and so how do you get um, 
you know, platforms that would, are willing to pay okay. more for, for qu the quality work done and not just any, any work. And so we, we have issues with that. We have issues with the craft itself, you know, whether our people are investing in learning the craft. Okay. Um, I think, I, I believe that people more or less tend to social media. So for you, the first one has to do with uh, how to marketing. Market and distribute. And then the second is the craft. The craft itself. Okay, so can you elaborate on this? So as, as there's a local balance that says that Adipapa I mean, I mean, if something is good, well quality, you, you don't even have to make so much noise. People will see it and come for it. And I think that that's, that's what we, we should be doing in investing in the craft that we say we're passionate about. Mostly what I see is where our attention is more focused on social media and how we look and so we use the film as a platform to project ourselves into other spaces but not investing in the craft in other words what i'm saying is are people willing to even educate themselves in the school and improve in the craft um, are people going online to uh, take up courses that speak specifically to their their acting and delivery how do they get better uh, improve on their deliveries etc etc so these are things that i think that if, if we're, we're we're more deliberate about we'll see us move from a certain level to a certain quality space where people would would want to get get what we have but if quality is lacking in terms of our craft and 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 therefore we're also struggling with marketing distribution then we'll, we'll, we'll continue having that same problem but let, let let's begin to see uh, invest in the areas that would be help build our, our, our industry. But, but uh, to you, how do we revive it? Well, we, 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 so, like we are struggling. Yeah. How do we get better? How do we... We, we have to keep making noise about it and not just... You know, I, for me, I, I have an advantage in, because I, I lecture at NAFTI and so every now and then I'm telling my young people that, look, you have to be responsible for the choices that you're making as, as students, as creators, because whatever you put out there in the, in, the, in, the, in the community space will be consumed. And so encouraging them, telling them that, look, we have to be really, really deliberate about our, about our craft is, is one way in which I, 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 I whip up the interests of the younger generation. And the older folks as well, there's a need for us to continue talking to each other and knowing that we have a legacy that we're going to leave behind. And therefore, the veteran, the veteran actors. And so, but, but how do you talk to each other? Oh, I mean, fortunately, we do have a good relationship. Um, it's healthy, and so we can we can talk one on one on areas that we're struggling with and how we can we can help each well, other. You can all come. Yeah, to yeah, you know, and I think that that's that's. But don't you think it would have been appropriate for us to do it through Actors Guild? Yeah, I mean, definitely, it's, it's a stronger and bigger medium, but nothing still stops us if we're not able to access it. And there are challenges there. Um, to do it by word of mouth and that also is, is because once once we're able to talk to ourselves then you know we, we have something going and, and that could also but, but are you a member <coughs> of actors i am a member so of actors why is it that things are not working there well so so there are few the few issues that have been you know um, dealt with i mean I, i'm sure you know that it's a court case pending yeah, 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 yeah. and so when when you know the justice system gets into it you, you, you can't do much than to wait for verdict and, and that, that has a way of just slowing things down unfortunately and we're hoping that whatever it is would be, you know, people will see eye to eye for us to move on because this back and forth will not help any of us. But, but, but are you willing or do you have a dream to lead the guild in future like be the president I, of the guild? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not the type who would um, immediately you know, have that edge. You know, I, I, I think you, that... You don't like politics? Um, don't no, like, that, that would not be my first choice, ever. Um, you don't like involving yourself in uh, hardcore political... Things. No, no, I mean, my, my, mine is just right in the corner where you are. I mean, so every time, like, if, if I find myself... Within the creative art. That's right. So I mean, it is part of why <clears throat> we, don't, we hardly even hear you talk about the economy, political affairs. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but you know, it's, it's not consistently. Um, I mean, is, is it because you are scared people will insult you? Or no, 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 not, not, like? not at all, not at all. Um, naturally, I, I, I think that I'm, I'm, I'm a bit sensitive to um, our political <clears throat> landscape for now because people are oversensitive that the moment you, 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 you talk about an issue, 
then you are pro this or, or, or that. Did, did e exactly. But that? you know, in the past, I have not, I have not, I have not shied away from, you know, calling maybe a government to. I mean, for for example, recently a, a radio um, interviewed me and I talked about um, what I think that the government needed to do more, um, in, even in that area of the creative space. And, and I, th I thought that they had done something, but much more was, was expected. So I wouldn't sit back and, and say that all is good when all is not well. Because if, I, if I'm able to play my part well, it, it keeps the government you know, of the day accountable and on their toes to, to deliver. But do you think the government they have a role to play in helping to revive the struggling industry? Every government does have a role to play in, in whatever industry that there is. Um, and it is not just the ent entirely their, their responsibility, but there, there, there are um, you know, avenues that they can create to help. And sometimes I'm, I'm not even talking about just capital investment, just come and pop money into the industry, but what are some of the uh, um, um, you know, avenues that makes it easier for us to maybe access a loan, for us to have tax rebates, for us to um, you know, uh, have, have opportunities to do courses out there that, that they have access to that we may, because we're not in, at that level, know. So th there, are, there are a number of things that they can do to help us. Unfortunately, the National F uh, Film Authority has begun putting this presidential initiative thing of um, the, 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 uh, pitching, uh, the pitch series where young uh, potentials and producers are, have, are producing, are coming to share their movies and, and accessing potential um, uh, producers and investment. Not just investors, not just in Ghana, but out there. So th these are some of the things that we need to engage in so that it, it makes it even much more um, uh, So we're possible. still talking about entertainment politics. We know some of your friends, right? they yeah. are trying to lead, trying to be MPs in yeah. the yeah. Is this something that you also like to No, I, I, I would never say never. I mean, at any, every, anywhere that I find myself with the opportunity to serve, it, it's, I, would, I wouldn't back it down unless it's, it's something that, you know, but otherwise, I mean, it's, it's always something that I'll, I'll, I'll it's not the first, first option for me, but if I happen to be there in the future, I mean, I'll play my part. You, you, you yeah, I will. The, there is one uh, debate within the industry about name for the industry. Uh, mm. Do you think you need <coughs> that name now? And if yes, what do you, do you suggest? Well, I, <clears throat> when, when this thing, whole thing started, I think I was given a, a platform, I was interviewed, and I said that names are important. I mean, and, and once, because of our culture, it teaches us the, the importance of names and what it means, and et cetera. And, and therefore, yes, we need a name. However, I thought at the point, at the, at, at the time, that was not the most important thing. I thought that there were other things, that, that's my personal opinion. I didn't therefore say that, okay, no, let's forget about this approach. I think that it's also important, equally important, um, but we should, we, should, we should then do things hand in hand. We have to do one thing and move on the other, and if, if the, the choice of the NFA was to begin with a name, I mean, we, we, we needed, we, they needed our support. I, I would say that, look, once we come out as a unit, as supporting initiatives, and we're involved in the process, then we're, 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 we have a headway. But if it's like, oh, let's watch them, let's watch what they are doing, and we'll fall down, and we're not helping each other. Let's be a part of it, let's be critic whatever it is, so that if their are, they are, they are, they are, they are eyes will be, 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 be dotted, T's will be crossed, we do that, and then we come up you know, successfully. So, so for me, it's, it's whatever it is that is on a platform, let's be involved, yeah. let's engage. But is there any lesson to learn from Nigerians that is our immediate brothers, knowledge? Well, I, I believe so. I believe so. I believe, I believe that you know, they, they have been very aggressive, um, perhaps because of, our, of, 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 of the way we are as a people. Um, they, 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 they happen to be more aggressive in everything that they do and they want to be, as they say, uh, Nigerian they chop last, they have slogans like that. And so and they, everything they want to be at the forefront. And, and I think that that's one of the things that we can, I'm not saying that we're totally not like that, but I'm saying that it, it's more with the Nigerians because yeah. of their nature, because population, etc. I think uh, one thing that we really need to learn from them, they say that they are not Nigerian they chop last, like the slogans. The slogans. 
I think we should imbibe those qualities. You know, we're, we're one people, and we should learn from other people. We should learn from our mistakes, the mistakes out there. The way we should also improve on some of their mistakes, and and, and therefore we're, we don't live in a vacuum. We we'll interact with each other over and over till eternity. And so I think that one of the things that we should learn from them is is being deliberate about our goals and what. And when we say, look, this is what we want to achieve, let's fight it, fight till we get it, until you know, until we get it. You know, we shouldn't we shouldn't relax, we shouldn't relax and be laid back. Yeah. Hey, talking about knowledge. Is there any reason why we hardly see you in most Hollywood movies? <laughs> I've been in a couple. <laughs> yeah. I've been in a couple. I've been, um, I mean, it's, it's surprising that you haven't seen, but I've been in a number of Hollywood movies. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the time, the few times where uh, they, they wanted to engage in my services when I was locked down here doing a number of projects. So that has not transpired. But uh, I think the last Nigerian movie was what I did with Kunle Afolaya and the Citation one, uh, which was, yeah, just, just for when COVID started, yeah. Okay, so okay, so back to Ghana again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is your opinion about movie stars begging for help, like especially the veterans? It's it's unfortunate. It's sad when I see those. That shouldn't shouldn't happen. I believe that if everything was up to scratch, um, people who have really served us and you know entertained us over the years, over the decades, should should not have an ending like this. I mean, if, if really royalties was functioning, some of these A-list actors, veterans, should be benefiting from these from areas. The from the royalties. That should be a source of income so, for them. So should we say the, that they were not making enough money when they were... It's a combination of factors. Not, probably they were not making enough. And then also all the structure that should be in place to benefit them were also being placed. Um, I think that the music industry are doing much more Better. better than we are and I think we when need to we need to, to speed up exactly but they are also crying they're, they're crying but they, they, they've gotten to a certain level we need to push to that level as well most of us are ignorant about royalties people don't even know that is the actors, actors. Yeah, yeah. and and I think and that's one of the things that there are even been workshops and being organized by by by, by the, the, the what do you call it NCCE and then um, the, the NFA for us to be involved in some of these processes because that's the only way we can sensitize ourselves and know that oh this exists for us this is for us otherwise people will take advantage of us and 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 use our ignorance you know against us and therefore i think that there's 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 a room for us to learn more and and but, but what are we supposed to learn from the musicians because if they are doing better i know mm. they are crying i said they are doing yeah. better than yeah. Yeah. Films <laughs> yeah so what are we supposed to learn from them what are you supposed to well, I think that one of the things is, is identity. I think that for, for the music musicians, they, they've carved that identity for themselves. One of the things that we need to carve for ourselves is when we, you talk about an American movie, for example, you know you have an idea of where we are going. You know, yeah. um, What is our identity? What are the kind of stories that we want to tell? Traditional, authentic stories where we should now dig deep into what, we're, what our stories are. For example, there's an animation that is going to be premiered on Monday, 28th of February, the uh, 28th the Crossroads. Now, this medium is now beginning to tell of the 28th cross, um, February shooting of Sajan Ajete and Odate Lamte and Epo. This is, is our story. This is our history. Most of these generations, they don't even know about Sajan Ajete and, and, and 28th Crossroads. They may even have read it in textbook, but how do you do they project visualize the project okay. so that while you're being entertained, you're also learning? Now, this is what the, mo the movie industry has been craving for. Mm -hmm. Tell the stories of great people like Kwame Nkrumah, of Yas Antoa, all those Akonfa Notch, all those guys are great historians that we, we, we don't have to go and crack our minds, get into the history books, translate these things, quality movies, quality rendition. And people are learning. Okay, so it's basically about stories that stories that in our, in our culture, in our values, culture. are embedded in, in these things. So so that and there's an array of things that we are not telling, and therefore we're losing identity by being westernized too much. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know the, the, the contradiction, the irony is that globally, this is the story that we're looking for authentic Ghanaian stories. stories. Okay. When you go to Netflix, they are looking for authentic local stories. Not so is that the reason why we don't have uh, so many Ghanaian movies on Netflix? Well, that could be one of the reasons. Um, the other is also the quality, because they're looking at a certain standard. Um, so whether we measure up at all, 
and what kind of quality movies we're telling. And then, of course, networking, how, what, what are the contests that we're having. Um, but, but gradually, these are things that will improve over time. But at the end of the day, listen, if, if you have something worth selling, you don't have to make too much noise. And that's what we need to do. With all these ideas, will we ever see you produce your own film? Oh, yeah, that's in the pipeline. I, but I, I have some learning to do. So once I just don't want to add to the numbers. I want to bring on board some level of quality tickets to another level. And so I'm, I'm, I'm doing some research and learning now. Before, you know, Before I, I, I so get into it. the script? Oh, I have scripts, not the script. <laughs> The only thing I can tell you is it's going to be Ghanaian, it's going to be African, it's going to be authentic, it's going to be value based. God bless you, keep. Okay, so God bless you too. Thank you, <laughs> boss. Charlie.